All right, it's Alan Vaughn, TagSGF.com, hanging out at Missouri State Basketball Media Day with Bears sophomore guard Marcus Marshall. Marshall, Marcus, how you doing, man? You doing all right? I'm fine. How you doing? Good. Do you, do you like this stuff at all? Do you like Media Day stuff? You seem kind of quiet sometimes. Uh, uh, sometimes, but I mean, I don't really complain. No. Right. Just part of the deal, right? Yeah, it's just something I got to do. Something you got to do. Yeah. All right, and you're probably going to do a lot of these. You yeah. had such a great last season. Did you think you'd be able to come in to the Valley and be able to put up those types of numbers and be able to perform like you did? Uh, you know, uh, you know, coming into last year, you know, I, I kind of figured that I was going to, you know, play some key minutes. Yeah. Um, I may not have thought I was going to play that many minutes, you know, with Tevin Bracey leaving and everything like that. I uh, automatically knew I was going to, you know, but put, uh, be put in the fire. Mm-hmm. But um, I just I just played my game, did what the coaches asked me to do. I try to do whatever I can to help the team win. But, I mean, I mean, last year and really turned out how we wanted it to be, but right. going into this season, we're going to see. How do you kind of, how do you talk about that or internalize that? Because you had a great season and the team didn't so much. So so how did you, in the off season? what did you think about, how did you kind of, you know, basically reconcile all that? Uh, I, I mean, like the season we had, I mean, I really didn't, you know, just hang my hat on, you know, the season I had. I right. mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, a, it's a team game. I mean, yeah, I won, you know, the freshman of the year and, you know, broke the scoring record and things like that. Mm-hmm. But it, it really just matter about, you know, the team. And, um, this year, it, we're, we're, we're more together. Uh, we have more pieces. Uh, we have more threats out on the floor. So it's not really, you know, going to be all about me. I know going into games, I'm going to be uh, at the top of a lot of the team's uh, scouting reports. Mm-hmm. But we have so many other players, you know, with Jamar back and all the newcomers we have. They don't know nothing about them. Well, they know about Jamar, but they don't know much about the newcomers. So it's going to be more of a team thing this year. Is it weird that, you know, that we were talking about that with, with the coach and all that, is there's so many new dudes. I mean, there's so many new New guys, what have practice has been like? Competitive, yeah. uh, long. Uh, yeah. Guys, guys, been out there getting after it, uh, and that's that's a, that's a great thing going into the season because you know it shows you know the potential we have, right. and like we're starting to you know develop that chemistry. And, uh, everybody's starting to come together, and I mean it's, it's it's looking very good. Right. Have you guys established what roles everyone's going to have? I mean, as far as what your role is going to be on the squad, everyone kind of tried to force you to be a point guard, you know, do those types of things. Have you guys figured a lot of that out yet? Uh, not really. It's just uh, people have an idea of what position they're going to play. Uh, different guys are going to play maybe like, you know, one, two different positions. So people got to know, you know, different spots on the floor. I mean, nobody's on the team just going to play one spot except for maybe Devin Thomas. He's going he's gonna to be point guard all the time. You know? right. He's not going to be a two, three, anything like that. But other than that, everybody, you know, has an idea. But we really haven't, you know, went over our roles yet. But everybody has an idea where they're going to be on the floor. One of my favorite things about college basketball is that we see you and we watch you play, and then we don't see you play unless you go to, like, the courts or something. And we don't see you until you debut back on the same court. And what we don't get to see is all that work put in. Yeah. And to be able to see you guys even improve. So what would you say – that be able to say the people that you have improved on since winning Valley Freshman of the Year and all of a sudden coming into your sophomore year? Uh, I think I'm smarter as a player. I'm more, I'm more clever. You know, uh, I'm stronger now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm just, you know, doing things differently. You know, uh, last year was a big, you know, learning learning uh, season for me. Like, consi- I wasn't very consistent last year. And this year I'm looking to be more consistent. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to uh, raise my shooting percentages up. I know last year I shot 40% and uh, 31 from three. And uh, I've just been in the gym, you know, getting up extra shots, with, whether it's after practice or before practice, you know, or with a manager or anything like that. And uh, I'm just looking forward to uh, being more efficient this year and also getting my teammates more involved. But the big the, the big thing I am uh, proud about myself is, uh, you know, gaining, gaining more weight, you know, because it's right. tough night in and night out playing against, you know, bigger guys and everything mm-hmm. like that. So I think that's a big key factor. So how'd you do it? Uh, I just <laughs> just... You know, taking the weight room seriously. Yeah. Uh, we we lift we, we lifted a lot over the summer. You know, we st- we still lift uh, right now like four or five times a week. So I mean, it, I mean, it really helps out a lot. You got to eat too. Yeah, you got to. Got to. Got to. Did you get it on? Did you get on it this summer? Yeah. Yeah. Drinking milk. Drinking milk after workouts helps out a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> that a boy. That a boy. Yeah. I like it. I like it. When did you know during last year that that you had it? That you were good? That you were gonna be? That you belonged? Stepping on campus, I knew I belonged. Yeah. I knew I wasn't recruited for no reason. Mm-hmm. You know, um, 
I always got confidence in my game. I feel like I can play with anybody, you know, but I'm, I'm not a cocky player whatsoever. Sure. But I, I always feel like I can play with anybody. But um, I say last year when I really felt like, okay, I'm here, is uh, the trip to Puerto Vallarta. Mm. We played against South Carolina SMU. And, um, I, had a, I had a pretty good pretty good game showing out there. And, uh, we, but we lost some close ones, but I had a pretty good showing. Like, after that, I really had a lot of confidence. You know, I had my ups and downs last season. I come out one game, maybe score 15 plus points. Next game, come out score two. But I mean, I really, you know, get down on myself and about it. I just kept on pushing. Right. Who are the whenever you throw a bunch of new guys together, or the nucleus is constantly changing. Who are the leaders on this team? I mean, just in general, like on the court, like or basically just as the crew, whether you're practicing, whether you're in the locker room, whether you're off campus, like who are some of the leaders on this team? Uh, Keith Pickens. Keith, he's, he's definitely somebody we look up to. Um, I, I consider myself a leader on mm-hmm. the court. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Nate Shear, mm-hmm. uh, he's definitely one. Uh, Christian Kirk, Tamar Kelly, uh, a lot of the upperclassmen. Does it come with age? Because I mean, because it's I mean, one of those things can. where you you know, you're so good coming in so young, and then you got older guys. Like, how do you? Is it age, game, or both? Uh, I, I can say it's both. Mm-hmm. I can say it's both, but I mean. You know, the, the upperclassmen, they, they've been through it. I mean, I'm a sophomore. I mean, I came off a solid season. But at the end of the day, they, they, they still keep me grounded and everything like that. They still tell me things that I should do, you know, as a player and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm going to always take their advice. You know, they've been through it longer than I have, you know. So, I mean, I guess uh, age has a big thing to do with it also. Okay. All right, let's, let's go off the court for a second. Yeah. So what do you do for fun? Uh, I just chill or uh, play games. Like what? play 2K, uh, okay. Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, okay. games like that. Right, right, right. So who's your squad in 2K? Uh, I play with different teams. Really? Yeah, I play with different teams. I play with the Nets, uh, the Clippers, uh, uh, the Knicks. That's okay. probably the main three teams I play with. Okay, so it's not like you're just LeBron every time no, trying to be the best, right? That's considered cheating. Right. Yeah, when you're playing against each other, that's considered cheating when you get the heat. Right. Yeah. Do you have a favorite NBA team? No. No, just like in general? Not really. No, I used to like the Lakers, but... They're right. Pretty bad, it's not so. the T. It's not the T Wolves, right? Yeah. No. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. What's it like being being from North and being here in the middle of the map? Uh, sometimes I really don't think about it too much. Yeah. I really don't is miss. it that different at all? It's not. It's not. A, it's not a huge difference. Mm-hmm. I really think uh, the weather is, of right. course, but other than that, it's not. It's not. It's not too much of a huge difference. Right. When I first came to Springfield uh, last year as a freshman. Uh, we was getting some gear before practice, and the coach passed out, you know, some big coats and uh, a beanie. And I'm like, you know, I ain't think it get that cold down here. So, so when the winter came, it started really freezing. Yeah. I was kind of surprised by that. I didn't think it got that cold, but I mean, it's it's not nearly as cold as Minnesota, but well, that was and, surprising. To me. And not as long, yeah, I bet. Exactly. Right, it yeah. might get as cold, but not nearly yeah, as long. Exactly. Right. So, what else do you do? What kind of music are you into? Oh, I listen to J Cole, uh, uh, Meek Mill. Uh, I like a little August Alcina, you know. I like I like a few slow songs and everything. Like okay. That. Well, other than that, I'm into uh, hip hop and R&B. Right. Yeah. You you rap or sing at all? No, I try to I try to freestyle rap, but I'm not. Too, I'm who's not the, good. Who's the best rapper on the team? Uh, uh, I don't know. We're all pretty horrible, but <laughs> the, the ones that think they're the best are Keith and Dorian. They think they think they think they're okay. the best. Okay. Okay. We just need to like just one day. Okay, we'll so not tell. STL. We're not gonna tell anybody. We'll just have one big cipher and we'll just put it together. Can you organize that for me? Yeah, I can try. Man. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right, Marcus. Good luck in the season. Thanks for doing the interview, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. You got it.